What's good, y'all? How you guys doing today? You already know what's going on. We dropping another banger. You feel me? Thank you for dropping back in to check out this video. Today, we will be customizing another shoe. I'm going to show you that shoe right now. So we got these right here that we'll be customizing, guys. Go ahead, check them out. I got a nickname for them. You know, I call them the Shark Tank. Because, you know, shark, sharks love money. You feel me? Sharks need love. Sharks needs money. You feel me? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why. Give you a closer, closer detail. As you can see. So today we will be customizing these. So stay tuned for the video. And thank you so much for checking me out. Make sure to like and subscribe. And hit the <laughs> notification bell so you don't miss another banger. Alright guys. Let's get it. Start off with the airbrush. As you can see, I'm airbrushing some yellow to get that sunset color. Just airbrushing it, getting that yellow in there, getting that orange, mixing blue and purple, you know, just to get that nice embro effect. As you see, still cleaning it up, still cleaning it up, adding a little bit blue, still blend it in a little bit more. Now we're gonna start off with the sketch of the shark. The first shark, as you can see. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know, as long as we get the foundation down, it's good, you feel me? Now we're moving on to the second shark. Now I painted the shark white and now we're doing the little details on the shark. And also starting to work on the mouth. As you can see, I, I use pink to do the mouth. Now I'm going over it again. Make sure to get that death effect in the mouth. So what I did was I used pink as the base layer and then further back to the mouth, I got darker with it. So it looks, you know, more realistic and more 3D. As you can see, now I'm just working it, just working it. Now I'm going on to the splashes of the first shark. over it with a light blue color some white some darker parts you know just mix it all together and really sell like it's jumping out of this all right now we're moving on to the detailed part of the second shark as you can see we're going to be working on the mouth right there see we're working on the details getting the shadows the highlights down everything down packed really really just working it working it now we're gonna go on to the mouth and I use the same technique as I used for the first shark you know a pink base layer and then for the darker parts I do a red mixed with pink with some black to really sell that depth within the shark's mouth darker parts I use a red black and a pink to go over it which really just gives it that that nice shading Working it, working it. 
Now here I'm going over the shark and adding those splashes using black, white, blue, turquoise, electric blue, all of those different varieties to give the color a more pop, to give the picture a more pop, you know, and to give it more depth. For the splashes, I started off with a low with a, a grayish blue, and then I worked it up, added some black with blue. Working it and then on for the top, I added the highlights, which is I just used white. As you see. Now I'm pulling it off, I love that feeling, you know, pulling tape off. Now I'm going over the Nike Tech with a green. I mixed white, black, and green to get this type of grayish, greenish color. I'm just going over it. Before we continue with the video, I just want to say thank you so much and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Alright guys, now let's continue with the video. So now on to the second shoe. Why I wanna where I wanna place the shark. I have two sharks on this one. Go in, just go in. My base paint, I use the white just to outline all of it and get it all down. And then I'm gonna paint all of it with white. So it's easier to paint over. Now that I have all the white laid down, I'm going to start with the gray over the shirts, which is the base coat. Just going over it. Not really worried about the details right now, I'm just worried about laying it down. As you can see, I blended the top of the second shark, the mouth, added the eyes, and I'm starting on the mouth. The detail of the second shark after I done the tongue of the shark. Give it that gradient 
one thing I learned from painting guys is uh, it's mostly about gradient. How smooth can you get that transition from one color to another? Now I'm working on the teeth of the shark, which I just used white, a little bit of black, and a, and a little bit of blue. And white for the bottom row of the teeth. After I've done finished the second shark, I'm working on the first shark and just adding just adding more detail to it. As you can see, I added the fins, adding more highlight points, adding more shadows to it. You know, don't neglect the shadows and the highlights. And as you can see, mixing, like I was talking about before, painting is really about the gradients. How smooth can you get that transition? And you know, I'm over here, I'm trying to get it smooth. at detailing and detailing I'm adding I'm using red black and a little bit of pink to get some depth into that mouth of what we talked about before it's working at work 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 learn you work 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 that's what happened when you gotta when you're doing painting you gotta work it man now I'm gonna do the money with the briefcase underwater that I used the same method I used for the Nike check on the other side. Green, black, and white, and, you know, just going over it. Get that cash and money color, you feel me? Money. Now I'm going over it with a thin Sharpie and just not really focus on really detailed money, but you know, just make it good enough. I mean, not just going over it, just going over it. So now that I finished with the money, now I'm gonna take the airbrush and do some blue. In fact, like the sharks are actually underwater, you feel me? That's the secret. If you're doing anything underwater or like anything in a glass situation, or you can see through, you gotta do your art first and then go over it. So it's like the painting is really underwater, you feel me? And the reason I didn't do that on the first side of the shoe is because the sharks are jumping out of the water, so it wouldn't make sense to go over the sharks in blue. working on the second shoe as you see I already done the first part I'm working on the fins of the shark you know when the shark is swimming I'm working on that just getting that minor detail What y'all was going for was like 
a dollar sign that's been bitten, you feel me? Because after a shark is hungry, you feel me? It's not going to be jumping out the water. It's still trying to eat. So that was kind of the concept I was going for was the shark swimming through the water and they already bit the money because, you know, they're money hungry for me and they're already full. So now they're just swimming in the shark, swimming in the sea, just chilling. You feel me? While I was doing this, I had to pre-plan it, you know, all the shark bites, I had to cut it out before I laid down the grain. So when I, while I was doing the sunset, those pieces that were cut out were actually part of the background, so it'd be easier. Now you see I'm doing my dog Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. I'm all about them Benjamins. Benjamins. Now we're working on the second side of the second shoe, which is four sharks. And as you can see, just working on that gradients, getting that, just blending it. You know, that's really what it's about. We gotta blend well, blend it well. You know? Now the same thing we're going to use the money but on this side I'm going to go a little bit detailed with the money because it's a little bit bigger than the the other money on the other shoe. Let's see just going over it just going over it. Gonna do some blue and black over the sharks with the airbrush to really sell the fact that these sharks are actually underwater and they're chasing that wop. You feel me? Now I'm finishing up and just lacing them up. After I laced them up, put the primer on it, everything. Finished it. Put the matte seal, everything. Now I undo the bottom. The bottom tape. Don't neglect that. And that's all for painting these Shark Tank Customs.
thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And also, leave a comment down in the comment section below and tell me what you think about the video. Also, tell me what customs you would like me to do, what shoes you would like me to review, whatever you want. Leave it down in the comment section. All right, guys, y'all stay blessed. Oh, yeah, and I just wanted to wish everybody a happy New Year's. I already know this year is going to be a blessing to you guys. This, this is the year for you guys to do whatever you want to do. Like, no excuses, you feel me? No excuses. We, we, we getting what we came for. You right? All right? You feel me? We getting what we came for this year. Whatever you want. No excuses, go after it, you feel me? Now let's get it, you feel me?